There is so much to talk about in this video, guys. I've got a lot to say. There's been so many developments over just this weekend alone to take you through, and it's gonna be a huge Tuesday episode as a result. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. I'm a little bit excited this Monday morning. There's, there's plenty going on, all good things. Um, I'll take you through the sales that came through over the weekend as well. Let's pull the numbers up and have a quick look. Uh, 34 sales came through between the Friday uh, midday period through to right now. Uh, total revenue, $1,443. That is an absolute record. Fees at 206, postage 283, cost of goods that sold 248, $705 between the weekend period of sales. So absolutely blown away by that. I'm gonna take you through every single one of those 34 items that sold in this video today to hopefully allow you to go out and find that same order, make that same kind of profit. And then we're just gonna sit back and talk about two developments that have taken place this weekend that are pretty huge for the growth and what I'm trying to do with this eBay business. So stick around, hit the like button, let's get into the first category, the DVDs. So the reason why I'm kicking things off with the DVDs and the video games is because it made up half of the overall weekend sales. What you'll see here is the best of the bunch, the weekend winners in the DVD category. There are 11 of these DVDs that ended up selling. We've got the Untouchables, the first one here, the complete series. This one's gone on to sell for $79. And 95 cents. I, I paid 50 cents a disc, so it was a $16 purchase. Some bubble wrap, get that one out the door, 80 bucks sale price, definitely a TV show to be looking out for. This was just a bundle of wrestling DVDs, uh, five different wrestling DVDs, put them in them as a bit of a bundle, sold it for $35 domestically here in Australia. Uh, the Vicar of Dibley, this is a bolo, guys. This, as soon as I pick it up, it sells. $32.50 is the standard price that you'll get for it. Uh, that was only a 50 cent grab in a flea market, awesome return. And then this one as well, the, uh, the Eagles, the farewell to a live from Melbourne. This is, I think, my mum and dad's favourite band. So a pretty cool DVD here. Uh, limited edition, I believe, as well. That one sold for thirty dollars. Uh, these are all just really sort of non-notable, sort of ten to fifteen dollars sales, but uh, still getting the job done. And uh, three international sales. Uh, funnily enough, all region four as well, which was interesting. Uh, Zombieland. Uh, this one went for thirteen dollars plus twenty dollars postage. Uh, Geordie Shaw, a bunch of mixed seasons there. That one went for uh, twenty dollars plus thirty dollars worth of postage to the US. And then the Adams Family. This one was a great one. Volumes one, two, and three uh, ended up selling for fifty dollars plus twenty five dollars in postage costs. So. These 11 DVDs guys have sold for $400 with an average sale price of $35.90 per sale. The next category is video games. We had six video game sales come through. The best of the bunch was actually in yesterday's flea market video. Only 24 hours ago, I bought this big PlayStation 2 bundle, put a video out about it. If you're yet to watch it, go and check it out. What I didn't realize though, in the PlayStation 2 console box, there was this game, Mortal Kombat on the Nintendo 64, hiding underneath the console. I don't think the seller knew that it was in there. I did some comps for it on uh, eBay, and it's an $80 game. So I put it up as an $80 purchase price, and in the space of about half an hour, the thing's gone on to sell, $80. I bought the entire PlayStation 2 bundle with 11 games, including that Dragon Ball Z game that was comping for about 100, 150 bucks, uh, for $70. And this game has already sold in the space of 45 minutes yesterday afternoon for 80 bucks. It's a beautiful game that we play. Uh, the next one that we've got here is Wario Land. Um, so this is a really good game. This is a Mario um, variation. I I've never really heard of this one, but this one actually sold for 40 bucks. So that was absolute bowl. I picked that one up in a, uh, that was in an op shop for just 50 cents. So definitely a game to be looking out for. Not that I've seen it all too often. Uh, I bought this one off Facebook Marketplace, PlayStation 3, Ratchet and Clank, Q-Force. Anything Ratchet and Clank um, is going to comp up pretty well on eBay when you do your searches. This guy sold for 40 bucks as well. So I would have bought him for $8. I think I paid $8 for about five or six uh, different uh, PlayStation games a couple of months back now. And uh, to get a $40 return on that one, only a $4.50 post. Postage, really cool. Um, this one as well, Resident Evil. I only bought this the other day in a, in a trip to the thrift if you watched it. Um, the, the Wii edition of Resident Evil 4. So really quick winner there. Only paid a dollar for it and uh, in the op shop and um, sold for 20 bucks. So cool little return there. Uh, another $19.50 sale for this one. This was Sonic and uh, Sega All-Stars Racing. So whenever I see Sonic the Hedgehog on any form of device, uh, I'm picking it up. So again, $19.50, paid a dollar for it. $15 sale from a dollar purchase. The other one that I don't have, it's actually at my sister's place, which I've got to pick up when I go to the post office, was uh, Serious Sam. And that one sold for $22.50. So um, she's been playing it. Hopefully she hasn't damaged a disc and uh, we can whack it in the post and get it off to the buyer. So uh, the numbers that I've got for you on the video games, there were six sales, $221.95 in revenue, uh, an average sale price of $37 for these six video game sales. 
So I'm absolutely wrapped with the way the DVDs and the video games are selling for me, but uh, we'll jump into the shoes next because we've had a number of them come through. The first one that I've got for you here are these New Balance. Now, these are the New Balance 373s, and I buy quite a few of these when I see them. Really cool, trendy pair of shoes at the moment. As you can see there, the soles have hardly been worn. Now, they've ended up going on to sell for 45 bucks. I truly believe I could have got a few more dollars for these, but uh, look, at the end of the day, guys, have a look at all the shoes that I've got to try and sell. So I'm more than happy to go ahead and take a best offer at 45 on those cool to get that result done uh, the other one as well with these ones here these are the Roshis the Nike Roshis now I never get my $50 price for these I'm always about 40 to 45 these ones have gone on to sell for 45 so uh, women's pair of shoes can't remember the size though decent size US seven and a half um, $45 is very typical for the Roshis if you're seeing them probably wouldn't pay any more than about 10 bucks for them in the thrift and then there were another set of two shoes that have sold for the same price. The first one are these Vans, uh, just plain canvas shoes, Authentics. Um, these have sold for $40. And I think that's pretty much what you get when you sell Vans. I don't typically get too much more than $40, $45 at most. You might get a few more dollars when you buy the high tops, the ones that go over the ankles. But these uh, sort of low cut Vans are always going to be about that $40 to $45 if they're in good condition, just like these ones. Um, another $40 sale price for a typical standard um, Stefan Janoski pair of Nikes. So whenever I find the Stefan Janoskis, they're actually not as much of a great seller as I thought they'd be. They are a little bit slower to move. Um, 40 bucks though for these. Picked them up for about five or six dollars uh, at my local op shop and uh, the soles on them were excellent as well which is always the biggest thing that you look for with shoes. So the Vans and the Stefan Janoski's a couple of $40 sales there. Welcome to the Retail Arbitrage Corner. I've been able to sell these Air Max 270 Reacts. Pair of really nice Nike shoes. Laser blue colorway. Have a look at these things. Bought them for $72 in the Nike factory outlet about six weeks ago, and they ended up selling for $149.95. So I've made myself a good $50 profit on these shoes. There's some real money to be made in the retail arbitrage space. If you know your numbers, I will say here that if you have a look at the retail price, it's $220. They sold for $150. So you're not going to get retail pricing on eBay, but if you can find them at the right wiggle room, $72 purchase price, there's enough there to be able to make yourself some profit. So know your numbers. Retail arbitrage, a huge game for you guys to be playing. So there's nothing too fancy about this operation, guys. We're literally in my bedroom putting clothes on the bed. But uh, We've had a couple of clothing items sell over the weekend. The first one is this brand new Levi Strauss pair of jeans. Sold for $45, a women's pair of jeans there. Not a bad result. These ones could have got a few more bucks for them, but took a best offer. Again, another $45 sale price. The Levi Strauss 504, 32, 32. So uh, they were in pretty much light new condition. I don't know why I sold them so cheap, but 45, not too bad. We move over to the shirts. There were just two shirts that sold over the weekend. I'll kick things off here with the Paul and Shark. This is just a great brand, guys. Heavily embroidered polo shirt, as you can see here. I've paid the $10 for it, so I did pay up. Up, but uh, I did get a $35 sale price. Definitely a brand for you guys to be looking out for uh, if you're not already. Cronulla Sharks, I'm selling a lot of sporting gear. This was a very, very cheap sale. I've had this one in the cupboard for a very long time, uh, but got an $18 sale price on that one. If you know what you're looking for, I bought these on Thursday in a trip to the thrift. My old footy club that I used to work for, the Carlton Football Club in the AFL, a double XL. They are genuine playing shorts, these ones here. So a ripping find for just $5 in the thrift store here on the Gold Coast. Quite strange. Um, ended up selling these for 45 bucks, guys. So if you know what you're looking for, there's some really good money in the sporting gear. Also found two good brands here, uh, just really some plain essentials. The Ruka um, casual shorts, size uh, large. And then you've got the Volcom Dissolvers 30 waist on those shorts as well. Uh, $24 for the uh, Volcoms, $25 for the Rukas. So just very much plain essentials. Only picked them up for about five bucks, turned them into about a $10 profit. So uh, there it is there, guys. We've got seven different items of clothing that all went on to sell over the weekend. All right, guys, so we've done uh, DVDs, we've done video games, we've done shoes, and we've done clothing. That's 30 of the 34 items that sold over the weekend. I've got the other four items right here. And the first one that we're going to talk about is this Tevian. Um, so this is a DVD to VHS converter. Uh, if you can find these devices in any brand, the comps on eBay are fantastic, and people are still buying them. This was in a recent trip to the through video not too long ago. Uh, paid 45 bucks for it, ended up selling for $200. So when you take out fees and postage, postage will be about $20, butcher's paper, bubble wrap, in to a box, out you go. Um, I'm going to make myself about $120 profit there, which is just enormous. Always like doing that with my electronics. So that is definitely a device and a type of item in the hard goods section to be looking for. Um, this one as well was a Funko Pop. It's actually just come off my Funko Pop bar stage uh, that I've got here for my YouTube videos. But um, look, it's out the door. Hellraiser number three, 360 pinhead. Uh, he's a glow-in-the-dark version as well. So a couple of extra bucks. It's sold for $24.95 
plus $8.95. I accidentally left the postage costs on, but the buyer's paid, so not too bad there. So about a $34 sale price for this guy. Put him into a box, a little bit of bubble wrap around him, and he should be good to go. So Funko Pops, I've stopped doing them, but I know a lot of people, JT, Funko Finds, um, doing a great job with the Funko Pops. A lot of collectors for those out there. So um, definitely one to be looking out for. Hey guys, this is a public service announcement of what not to buy. Um, the brand Anko is rank, it's terrible. Um, there it is there, you guys will all know it, all know not to buy. This was me back on my very first week of reselling. We're talking one year ago, this Lights and Sounds fire truck. I picked it up in a thrift store for $2. It's ended up selling for $17.50. It's gonna be a headache to try and post out, and uh, I don't know why I ever bought it, but it just shows how far I've come. Um, anyway, toy went on to sell. This though was uh, one for the collector, that's for sure. This was Eminem, a 2001 Art Asylum branded um, action figure. So he's not too big, as you can see there. He's about the same size as me, as my head. Um, but he's not complete either. He needs a jacket and um, he doesn't have that. And uh, he needs a microphone as well and he doesn't have that. So he is an incomplete action figure. And I bought him for a dollar in the thrift, uh, sorry, in the flea. And um, he sold for 30, 35, 35 bucks he ended up selling for. So $35 for a dirty old toy of 2001 Art Asylum. There's collectors out there for these things if you're looking for toys to sell on eBay. So that was it. They are my 34 items that made me $705. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, put all these into some satchels and get them out the door. And then we've got a lot of other stuff to talk about. <laughs> Awesome to get the Monday post out of the way, guys. Uh, there were a couple of other things that I wanted to have a bit of a chat to you about in this video. And the first one is around an awesome Facebook Marketplace wholesale opportunity that came my way on Saturday morning. It actually came through my cousin, uh, Sam. He, he sent me a message. He knows what I do selling online and he knows I like to sell my running shoes. And, and this was a running shoe wholesale purchase. And it's probably the best bundled lot that I've ever been able to secure. So a huge thank you to Shane, the person selling the shoes. He actually was able to come to the Gold Coast. The listing was based out of Brisbane, uh, but on the weekend on Saturday, he was already making his way down to the Gold Coast. So um, look, the, the opportunity was 33 pairs of brand new ultra men's running and women's running and hiking shoes. So uh, a lot of trail running shoes in there, a really good mix of sizes as well for both men's and women's. And, uh, and they were all brand new, out of box, brand new. Shane used to work for Ultra and uh, used to go out to these trail running uh, events and, and these marathon events and try and sell the shoes. He's now out of that business and he had all of this excess stock that he just wanted to move on. So for me, as an eBay reseller trying to sell shoes, this is an absolute Hail Mary opportunity for me. And uh, Shane was offering a really competitive $500 price. Um, when he came to the house, he actually brought a whole heap of other stuff that he just gave me as well. So I was able to get 10 pairs of socks, brand new, uh, ready to sell for about 20 bucks a piece. And uh, he also gave me a hat and a gator trap as well, the, the little um, padding that goes over the shoe to protect the ankle and the calf. And um, look, he really helped me out. He, he was a ripping bloke and uh, I told him my story of what I did selling on eBay and the fact that these shoes were all gonna go on to sell really well for me. And uh, he was also obviously appreciative that I was buying his entire lot uh, for $500. And now he didn't have that to worry about uh, moving forward. So um, I did just wanna mention that in this video, I'm, I'm gonna start listing them up over the next few days and hopefully I can sell them. My anticipation is that I sell them for about $100 and I'm buying them for $15 each. So that's to provide some context on how good of an opportunity I think this is. So um, maybe three and a half thousand dollars worth of uh, revenue for me out of this deal and I've only paid the 500 bucks. Um, I wanted to talk about it because I think it's really important to tell your friends and family what you do. If it wasn't for my cousin initially sending me uh, that notification around the fact that this opportunity was available, if he didn't know that I sold online, I would never have seen that, never been able to get the opportunity. You need people to help you 
help get them to help you as much as you help yourself. So it's something that I've learned. It's something I need to do a bit more. I need to put a post out on my own personal network um, to my friends and family, far reaching, um, because they are there to support you and, and they do want to see you do well because they are your friends and family. So if you haven't yet done that, I think it's a crucial step to definitely go ahead and do so. But I'm really excited about it. There's going to be some decent money made. I've got no doubt about it. Selling brand new when you're buying for 15 surely you can't go wrong. So I'll keep you updated over the next few weeks on how that one goes. Well, actually, I was going to wait until I got home, but I'm too eager. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the next one as well, which is super exciting. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to have a chat about, it was regarding a bit of a life update for me. Um, I've been in a, I've been a ghost really for the last 12 months. Like I've been just up there in that spare bedroom at my mum and dad's place working on both YouTube and eBay for the last 12 months. And honestly, it was needed. I had to do it. I had to get myself into the position that I'm in right now where I'm doing 700 bucks over a weekend. And I feel like I'm really at a point now where the next step in what I'm doing is to get out of home and to move out of home and, and, and say thank you to mum and dad for, for them assisting me and letting me grow what I'm doing over the last 12 months. And I've st over the last couple of weeks, I've been really starting to look heavily into re uh, rentals. Um, I'm not in a position to buy just yet. You actually need to work for two years uh, before you can be even approved for a mortgage um, here in Queensland. So uh, I, I do have, I guess, another sort of seven or eight months left before I am two years into the game um, with two tax returns. But um, I did find an awesome rental on Saturday as well, just straight after the wholesale agreement got done. Um, went around to this house and um, caught up with the guy that I'll be living with, just a, a share mate um, scenario, share house scenario, and uh, he was awesome. He was a huge footy fan, uh, die of a flipper. If you do uh, come to the Gold Coast, he's a massive doggies fan as well uh, in the AFL, which uh, immediately made us uh, bond pretty quickly when I told him my story. And um, yeah, the, I mean, the rent's competitive. It's it's going to be enough for me to be able to you know easily pay it without any stress financially on what I'm earning at the moment. I've already done a personal budget, uh, and I'm moving Tuesday a week so i'm only about a week away it's uh obviously monday today i've got eight days and i'm, I'm going to be moving in so location is perfect i actually uh, my parents place uh, around the corner here I'm, I'm probably about a 10 minute drive uh towards the beach and then from there the beach is only another two minute drive so i'm almost on the water um in a really really great location on the gold coast at a pretty fair price and, and the, the rental market at the moment is a tough one so um, I'm absolutely blown away and wrapped by the fact that I've been able to secure it. He had a lot of people come through, but I think building rapport with him around the footy has definitely helped me uh, be able to get the spot. And I, I do think I'm going to pretty much just, yeah, become really good mates with him as well. So um, I'm going to document all of the journey, but I did just want to at least let you know right now that I've been able to secure the place uh, and I'm going to be moving in uh, in a week's time. So I'll film all of it. I'll show you the new place. And then I'll, for the first time, I'm going to be paying all my bills and I'll be making all my meals and I'll be being an adult again. It's been a long time uh, since I've uh, fended for myself. So there's going to be probably some, uh, some, I guess, funny processes along the way and trying to reconnect with doing all the things you need to do as an adult. My parents have been absolute saints, but um, yeah, really excited about it. Can't wait to get into it. And I'm going to document that journey for you as well. Appreciate you tuning in, guys. Uh, that's everything. Uh, a lot of updates there, I guess. Uh, no real editing to this one, just me sort of talking in front of the camera. But um, yeah, so much uh, coming up. I'm, I'm pretty excited. And uh, yeah, it's it's just like the hard work's paying off. I can definitely see that the hard work's paying off. And um, I just think, yeah, work, work really hard. Aim for what you want to aim for. And if you do work hard, you'll get it. So um, I'm pumped and uh, I'm feeling really good. And um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video right there because I don't know what else to say. Uh, there's another video though. Go and watch that one. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you later.